Okay. The Rambam says, "Hilchas beis Rechida perik alav from Lachetes." The Rambam says, "Ein bainin bay eats bay that klal cannot build anything of wood in the beis Hamikdash." El oib avonim, oib levenim besid. Has to be built out of out of stone or out of bricks. Even uh, uh, platforms or uh, uh, galley, uh, 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 different uh, things, um, a gallery of, uh, made out of wood is um, is not allowed in the, in the Azara, only of stone or bricks. The Ragbit says over here, he asks a question, he says that we find, we do find that there was things built in the base of Mikdash, of wood, but the Lishkas came Godl, Shal Eitzhaisa, and the Simchas Beis Sheva, they made a Gzustera, they made a certain uh, uh, fence around for the ladies and, uh, and, uh, and for to watch. El Ali Asra Tere Kolaitz, El Ali Eitzhaisa Mizbach Hashem, the Ezra's Kainim. You're only not allowed to build it from Ezra's Kainim and in. But to build something in Harabayas, as is Nashim, it's allowed, you're allowed to make something out of wood. The Kassim mission over here brings the Ravid and he answers, and he said different answers on the, Ram, on the Rambam. And he says, <coughs> one of the answers he says that uh, that uh, it was only allowed in the Silver Eva, it was only, uh, it was only uh, the Fisha, it was only a temporary thing. And even the Bimashal eight, they made by Hakil, it was also the Shaita, it was only it was only a temporary thing. He asked different questions on it, different things that and he says that one answer he gives is that if it's not a Dava Kavua, then it's and it's not uh, it's not uh, permanent in Zevaita, Shli Kavua Babinyan, then it's not it was just a thing, it was it wasn't it wasn't screwed in, so then it's allowed. So the Shaila is uh, it's a famous Shaila, and uh, usually if you think about the Shaila of Sukkot time, uh, it's a little a while for Sukkot. What happens concerning building a Sukkah in the Beis HaMikdash? Was there a Sukkah in the Beis HaMikdash? It wasn't a Sukkah in the Beis HaMikdash. Are you allowed to build it? You're not allowed to build it. Based on his Rambam. So, in a letter from the Rebbe, somebody asked the Rebbe this question. It says, like, Sita Lecha, call eight. How could the Kainim eat from the Menachas and the Bisamikdash and Sukkahs if there was no Sukkah? And whoever it was, he answered that given the Meshulch and Gavayah because there was Zeicha from the Meshulch and Gavayah, was from the Abishthas Karbanas, so they were part of the Sukkah. So they part of the Sukkah. Don't eat a Sukkah. So the Rebbe quotes a number of others on this answer that this person sent into the Rebbe and just. Uh, just to warn you that there's no clear answer from the Rebbe concerning the sukkah that it was or there wasn't, how exactly it was. Just mentioning the different the different thoughts that the Rebbe brings in this letter and a few other sikhas that Rebbe mentions it, and hopefully by sukkah's time we'll have an answer already in the Beis Hamikdash tradition. So the Rebbe says like this: First of all, based on what we just mentioned, the the, the Indian of Lesita Lacha Sheva Lesita Lacha Kalates. Is only on a number of conditions. It has to be dafka binyan shal and it has to be shal keva, and it has to be kavua binyan. So it has to be made out of wood, and it has to be a permanent structure, and it also has to be kavua binyan. It has to be screwed in properly. And the chayyus says the rebbe very simply: you can build a sukkah without any of these conditions. Even the schach, you don't have to make out of wood. You can make the schach. You can use straw and leaves. You don't have to use wood bechlal. And, of course, it's not a permanent building, it doesn't have to be screwed in, and therefore there's no really issue of making a, a sukkah on sukkahs, even though, it's a, it's, even though there's a, the Lysit al That's number one. Number two, we have, we know the Pasuk, it says in the Rayamim, that hakel b'chsav miyad Hashem alai hiskil. So, everything, in every single part and detail of his Mikdash was all pre uh, 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 given over from Hashem, and therefore they cannot add anything. You cannot add a sukkah. So says the Rebbe. That's just a general uh, general things in the in the Beit Hamikdash. When it comes to a mitzvah, you're allowed 
Vaharaya, when it says in the, it says that they, when they build the, the they build for the, uh, for the so the Beis Sheva, the Rebbe brings some Gemara and Sukkah that they, they build that the ladies should have to watch and they build different zosteroys. So this was allowed as was, it was for a mitzvah, and as we can say that even the Indian of Hakel Bchsav Miyad Hashem Alai Hiskel included a Sukkah too. That when the Eibush is said to build a base of Mikdash. Part of building the Mishnah Mikdash was that when Sukkah comes, you put up a Sukkah. Just like when you build a house, you're, like, you're thinking, where am I going to build a Sukkah? And you make it in the plans to begin with. Where am I going to build a Sukkah? So here, the, part of the plan was that there'll be a Sukkah. So that was for Kerit. It was part of mi, Miyad Hashem Allah Hiskim. So it was already included. The Rebbe brings a Pasuk in Nechemia, which it says, and they came back to the Eretz Yisrael, they built the Mishnah Mikdash, they built the Sukkahs, and they built Sukkahs. Bachatri Seyem in the yards of Bachatri is based on the Kim, and they also built a sukkah in the Chatri is based on the Kim. So it seems that in different Mepharshim, I didn't find which Mepharshim is right, it's the Mepharshim exactly what it's referring to. And others say it's referring Dafka to only Harabayas, Chatri is based on Shem, it's referring to Harabayas. But the Rebbe says, based on what we said now, this could actually be referring to the Azara, that it could be in Kibshute, that the attacker built, it says in Ezra, that the Yasin of Sukkah is Bachatri based on the Kim, it's referring to. The Azara, the attack that was part of the Azara, part of the plan was that there was a sukkah and they built it. It, it, was, a, it was a temporary structure and there's no problem. Even if we want to say that the Pasuk and Ezra is taka talking about, is taka talking about Harabayas, anyway, there's a Shaila because it mentioned in, in a Sefri that. That uh, that uh, even building something in Harabai is even in a Lois so, uh, It's hard to say that the the Pasuk in, in, in Nechemia is talking Dafka about Harabai and not the Azara, because Mitzad the Isser of building, even in the Harabai, is with the same Isser. The, according to the Safri, there's a Isser, a Lois of building any structure in you know, on, on the Harabai besides the Vesemikdash. Now, it says, another thing that ever brings is Yaltit Shemaini in Pasha's Shaftim when it says in Sidd al Eitz. And the Yaltit Shemaini says in one of the Purushim Dava Achir, one of the Purushim, and he says, A filo bayis, a filo sukkah. He says very clearly that you're not allowed to build a house on the base on the mm-hmm. and even not a sukkah. So, Alpi Pashat, this could be referring to a regular, a regular summer home. Just like we find, it doesn't, it doesn't have to, it's not necessarily including. The mitzvah of sukkah, the sukkah over here, like we find, we find the yaki, which is even the bayis, that we can have also sukkahs. So it could be Islam a sukkah. And if I can't say chiddush, that, that, that a filu bayis, and the chiddush is a filu sukkah, even if you're building not a, uh, not building a house, you're building just a sukkah, you're building just a, a sunroom, or a summer home, or whatever it is, on the harabayis, you got the wrong address. Don't build it over there. But it's not referring to the mitzvah of, of sukkahs. So that also could be answered that way. The Rebbe brings a shikal stira in a sefri and a sefro. A sefri says, the quote is very bekitzer, the sefri says like this. It says, Chag asuk istas l'chashivus yomim, l'hediyat. You have to build it l'cha, it has to be l'hediyat. Minayin afilu l'gvaya. So therefore, even in the Gvaya, even in the Beis Hamikdash, there should also be a Sukkah. From Zvetin Zayt, it says in a Sefra that that Yochel Yitehi Chagiga Sukkah, Chagiga Sukkah in the Gvaya. Maybe the Chagiga and the Gvaya is just for just for the Gvaya, just for the Beis Hamikdash. Talmudim Mechag Sukkah is Tassel Lachon. Maybe it should be Chagig of a Sukkah Lehediyat. Talmud Leimah Chag of Sukkah Shivas Yom Lashem. Or Ketzad. Chagig of a Gvaya of a Sukkah Lehediyat. So here it says in this Sifra, it says very clearly that the Sukkah is only for Hediyat and not for Gvaya. Hashanki in the other, the other Sifri says that even even the Gvaya also you need a Sukkah. So the Rebbe says in the talk about it, I didn't find. I didn't manage to find any Mepharshim that says even after the Yishuv Mepharshim in the still of the Yishuv a die in Tzorachi and Cotton. So what exactly was the, 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 the answer and why the answer is at Tzorachi and Cotton? Tan l'chacham yachke merit. You can look it up and figure it out. Um, the Rebbe says that, uh, that uh, uh, when Negea eating the Menachas, the original question was how could he eat the Menachas in the base of Mikdash? 
if it's uh, it, is it taka part of or not? So the Indian is like this. It says teishvuk and teduro. The whole year round, they did not eat the the menaches in their own house. They only ate in nazar. So saying teduro, whatever you eat in your house, you have to eat in a sukkah. But if the menaches you are not eating in your house, so we don't eat the sukkah when it comes to sukkahs. So it doesn't uh, the to teishvuk and came teduro doesn't apply for menaches. A regular food, you're eating at home, so on sukkahs, eat it in a sukkah. But if you're not eating, you're not eating anyway in the in the in the, in the house. So, so the so the say if you're gonna say that chivas kachi kedoshim is part of in a sukkah and chulin, uh, there's no there's no chulin in the in the nazara. So why does it say in the pasuk that they made the sukkah the chazer based on kim? Going back to the pasuk in the why does it say they made the sukkah before? If we talk it is nazara. The Rebbe says not a question because Achila Sukkah, the Mitzvah Sukkah is not only Achila Shtiya. Sukkah is many other things too. And you're allowed to go to the Ezra Yisrael. It says, there's a Mishnah in Kalim, it says, that Ezra's Kalim, Mukadesh, is from Ezra Yisrael, Sha'in Yisrael, and the Chlos Nisham, El Bashas Tarchayim. In Ezra's Kalim, they're only allowed when it's necessary to go in. But Ezra Yisrael, they could go in the vice versa other times too. And when you go to Ezra Yisrael, you need to have a Sukkah, even if you're not eating there. But there are other things that the, 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 the brings in Shulchanar that you have to do on a sukkah besides eat, eating, and, eating, and, eating and drinking. So maybe they need a, need a sukkah for that. Interesting, in the letter on the bottom, the Rebbe brings a Rooney, the, from the, it's like a, my Zayda, my wife Zayda, the Bavrom Ziskind, that he mentioned to the Rebbe, and he told the Rebbe that the Adson, we have, a, we have even a, a possibility of eating because you have Lachme Toido, which is Mutter. And therefore, anybody who brings a, a can bring it in the whole year round. And therefore, it's that he and uh, that so, so sukkahs he needs to do it in a sukkah. So even maybe if he's eating in the azara, he would need a sukkah in the azara too, just for the lachmi teida. This is how the letter finishes off with these nikudas. In the sand that throughout the years, at least two of the times that the Rebbe mentioned the Indian of a sukkah in the Beis Hamikdash. In Tavshin Chavdal in the Sikha, the Rebbe says, as a Dava Pashut, that there was no Sukkah in the Beis Mikdash. The Rebbe is, is a, as a whole Arichas, the Mitzvah of Lulav. That the Mitzvah of Lulav, is it part of the Mitzvah of Sukkah or not? And the Rebbe says, Taki Mitzvah and Mubcha is doing a Sukkah, but the Mitzvah of Lulav itself is not connected to Sukkah. Vaharaya, you have to take the Vesemach and the Shem you have to bring the Lulav in the Beis Mikdash. And there was no, there was no Sukkah in the Beis Mikdash. Because and after that, it brings the pasuk of Hakel B'Ksav Yad Hashem Alai Hiskel, and therefore there was no sukkah in the Beis Hamikdash. There's still there's still shuk lulav in the Beis Hamikdash. Is a raya that the, that uh, that lulav is not is not part of mitzvah sukkah. It's a mitzvah, a mitzvah for itself. Even though mitzvah and mufchah takah to do it inside in the in the sukkah. In the later in the later for bringing in Tavshin Lamed, and there's a whole the very famous sicha when he's sleeping in the sukkah. It's called sichas chelik chavtes. And the Rebbe over there mentions in Ha'ara, interesting word when the Sukkah. And the Rebbe says, the Rebbe says that um, that how could it be that they were kiveya, that they were menamnem chutz the Sukkah. The Bishas says the Bishas the Silver Sheva, they were menamnem, they were dremeling, they were they, in the in the in the Silver Sheva, and there was no Sukkah there. So in Ha'ara, here the Rebbe says like this: Even if you're going to say imtem zaleima shahayu Sukkahs b'smichas laharabayis. And maybe they ran into that sukkah, could do a shakla batariya, if there was a sukkah or not. So the they could go into the sukkah, but later he said that the Rebbe brings here a halach in Al-Tarab Shachonaruch that Shluchim Mitzvah, if there's, if there's too much tircha, you don't have to go to a sukkah. If there's no tircha and you have a sukkah right there, you can go to a sukkah. But if there's too much tircha, you don't have to go. So to say that there was, that there was, uh, so, so in the of this, in the Vesem Mikdash, the Sukkah, even if it wasn't in the Harabayas, but it was close enough, and they didn't have to be misbattled, kol kach, and they could run into the Sukkah right away. And the Hoyer, there brings the Gemara that says that the, the, the Gemara lists the whole Seder Ayyem on Sukkah, that they went to the Vesem Medrash, and they went to the Vesem Mikdash, and they went to eat and drink, one hour this, and one hour, the whole Seder, in, in, the, in what they did, throughout all the hours of Sukkah, of Sukkah, and there's no mention over there about sleeping, so, just like the Achila Shtia, they had a sukkah. They had, the Rebbe said, Bavadai, Achla Basukkah. So it must be that the sukkah was very close to the base of Mikdash. They had to run into the sukkah, need something, and run back to the, run back to the base of Mikdash again. So maybe like was arguing that maybe the Nimnum, the, the Dremlum, was also in the sukkah that was outside outside the Harabayas. But upon the Rebbe's 
the shakla betani ben gay if the taka was a sukkah, was a was a uh, a sukkah in harabayas or not. And the kaponim, the mahaf and the bezes Hashem, the cover this sukkahs will be able to be zeicha be in the sukkahs in the beis in the beis mitzvah shlishi. It can be a